What is up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we are back in Spirit Fair, the Farewell Edition Part 15. And I did a lot of resource gathering. Oh, I'm actually starting to cook it again. I haven't cooked a lot just because I feel like I have so much food and you don't really need to cook after a certain amount of time. But now that I have new ingredients to cook, wait, I can cook just flour? Wait, what is that just going to make? Did I waste that? Hopefully not. Um, I upgraded the, the sawmill and the fa the forge or the foundry or whatever you want to call it and it freaking they're so great well at least the the foundry is i haven't tried with the sawmill yet but you put five ore in and you get 10 ingots like i'm literally doubling my profits and i think i can build who am i build what am i building i think we wanted to build the crusher here's the crusher we can build the crusher where do we want to put the crusher can we put the crusher right here? No, it's one too big for all these spots I want to put it. Okay, fine then. We'll just put it right here. The crusher is in. Now, what can we do with the crusher? We need powder. I remember, too, we need to improve. Uncle Atul needs one more thing. He needs comet powder. How do I make comet powder? Can I put a pulsar ore in here? Because those are technically like comets. Are there meteors? Maybe we could put them in here and make some powder? How do we make the powder? Where's our boys Bruce and Mickey to tell us how to make this powder? While they're coming up with their slow time, I'm going to try to reorient my windmill. Having to come in here after every time I go on a voyage. Yeesh. That crap. That all that crap. Where are they? Look at it. See? Would you just look at it? That's beautiful. Mickey. Can already hear the smashing sounds coming from inside. I'm sure she's a beaut. Try crushing something. It will make you feel good. Let some of that rage out. What? I'm not gonna explain it. See, a child can do this. You make the machine go smash. It's a piece of cake. Here are a few rocks to get you started. Let it roar. I'll be waiting here and listening to the sound of crushing. Ooh, we get to crush limestone and quartz. Oh, we can crush sunflower seeds and make sunflower oil? We can make... put candy... wait, this cane will surely come in candy. Oh, we'll give sugar if placed in the crusher. Oh, carbon powder, silica powder, we need silica powder. Lime powder, so I need to get a lot more quartz. Oh, we're making silica powder. Now how do I does this? Do I just hit X? We just hit an X bunch, we're just crushing. Is this all we're doing? Whoa! What do you mean, whoa? We're we doing this right? Do we just gotta keep going? Just slamming X, slamming X, slamming X, making me some powder. There's no bar in progress bar though, so I don't know when I'm really done until it just lets me go. Until it does it like that. Whoa! See? You crushed that rock like there was no tomorrow! I can hear it beg for mercy. That was pretty amazing. That felt good. See, you got some chops, Scout. I know you'll be able to do this next job. Look, Mickey needs a house. Not just any house. He needs a goddamn palace. Marble, gold mirrors, indoor palm trees, the whole nine yards. Something that would make our neighbors back home furious. Get it done, see? Bruce and Mickey's crib. I like that they call it a crib. How much is how much business is that gonna take to make? Holy cow! We can actually make it right now. Hell's yeah! Whoa! They got a flipping mansion. Oh no! I need to rearrange some stuff. I can fit this in here. I got the space. But holy damn! I mean, he is a big thickum boy, so he needs something like this. Now, with all that space I made, I can easily put their house in. Let's just put it right here, shall we? Yeah, why not? The mini palace. Shush up, phone. I know I did something amazing. You don't need to tell me. Wait, what is this? What did this flower end up making? Hello? Bread? Oh, that's pretty sick. Can I now combine bread with stuff? Or nah, is that a no-go? Oh, we also got potatoes. What can we put potatoes with? Some lobster potatoes? Let's make some lobster potatoes. Hopefully I didn't just waste all my lobster. Hey, Bruce and Mickey, where you guys at? Also, does our boy up here? Oh yeah, Bambina. This is perfect. I couldn't have even hoped for such a lavish saloon. Can't wait to rest my feet on the sofa. Hey, Peanut, want me to fix you a drink? Yeah, come on, you know you want one with just a dash of vodka. A virgin Caesar then, really? Nothing? Bah, okay, suit yourself. 
Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to pour myself a little pick-me-up. All right. Catch my drift. Right. Wrong crowd. Ciao, ciao. Okay, goodbye. Hope you like your place. It's nice in there. I can use a drink, though. Jeez. This is what I'm talking about. You don't mess around, kid. See, we need to give you a proper nickname, Mickey. What do you think? Right. I don't like that. That's already taken. Phantom Terror? That's no good. <laughs> give him a minute. Okay, he's got, I gotta wait for him to give me a, a good, better name. Damn! This couch, though. And this bed. I like how your bed's, like, in the basement. But this ladder for you, though, how you gonna... How you gonna get to bed? How are we gonna decorate your house? We definitely need to decorate your house. You got a lot of stuff in there. Why are you calling me kid? You ain't got a job for me. Get out of here. Oh, also, we're at Oxbury right now because I and, and at the at a different place. My brain's going crazy all the time. I'm firing at all cylinders, but we're going nowhere at the moment. Um, what? Where are we at? Yeah, we're at Oxbury because originally we had to talk to a painter to do this thing, and then wasn't there another spot I had to talk to? There's a, oh, the shenanigans thing. I have the old central district. We were there too, but I never talked to a lady named Ingrid. I said something about it, but then we got hella distracted. So let's get in there and see if we can find somebody. What are we here for? The wood woodcutter guy? We're in the cafe. Is this the guy? Oh, there. Will you be having something? You're looking for someone, a famous woodworker? Oh, sure, of course. You're talking about my boyfriend. Or should I say my ex-boyfriend? I kicked him out of my house. Call it a disagreement. We haven't talked in a while, so I'm not sure where he could be. But knowing him, he's probably just hanging around in a park somewhere. I know he was a he has a favorite spot somewhere in Ambertown Park. He was never much of a doer. Oh, he's a looker lure, a seer. What do you mean by a doer though? If he's a carpenter, he obviously makes stuff and Gustav likes him, and he's a snooty booty. If I ask nicely, no, I'm not doing anything, I'm just oh wait, I don't know you. What is it? A woodworker, you say? Why, yes, of course, you were looking for me. I'm just, uh, taking a stroll. Yes, enjoying nature, refueling my creative batteries, so to speak. So, you were looking for my genius, I presume. What is it that you need? A working desk? Oh, yes, fantastic. Sure, I can do that. Okay, this is your your chance. Don't mess it up. Just breathe. So, um, yes, uh, about that. My creative batteries are full. Uh, sure, but all this nature and this walking and this um, contemplating, well, it depleted my physical batteries. Thus, before I can even start thinking about your commission, well, I'll need some food. You know, mind and body and all that. And, well, for an artist of my caliber, not just anything will do. I need you to bring me an exquisite urn, surf and turf. Yes, that'll do. Oh, no. Why did I pick such an expensive meal? What if she thinks I'm not worth it? Should I change my mind? No, no. Too late now. I'll just... Um, I'm just so sick of eating blueberries. Well, what are you waiting for? Bring me some, uh, uh, bring me a serpent turf or anything else, please. I'm starving, and we'll talk about the commission. I know how to make serpent turf now. So I do. I really gotta make that for him? Uh, okay. He he said anything, so I was hoping maybe I could just give him anything. Look at this one dude. He's just following me because I'm cutting down all these trees. So on our way to go buy some beef, I can improve. Uncle the Tool's house and build him this last one because I found out how to make Comet Powder. It was I was right. You just smash the Pulsar ore or Pulsar Fragments or whatever the that ore is. I think it's just ore, but yeah, build it. It's done. Your whole house is great. Way to go, Sprout. This, this all looks amazing. You got it all. My house has never looked better. I'm sure the other passengers are already jealous, but let's not rub it in their faces. Nice, spice up your life. So that's that was his last request for that. Wonder what that's gonna turn into though. I thought it'd lead into more, but I guess it was uh, one of his quests. Now we gotta feed him some fried chicken, but I still don't know where to get fat. I made sunflower oil, but I don't know how to get just straight up fat. Wait, can I make fried chicken with sunflower oil? Wait, this might be hasty, but we're doing it. I'm making me some fried chicken, hopefully, for Uncle Atul, because that's all he's ever really wanted for ages now. Wait, what are we doing here again? Oh, yeah, buying beef. What do you want, Giovanni? Bambina. Mm -hmm. Look, Pina, I think I've overstayed my welcome on this ship. I know, I know, I've only just joined you guys recently, but I don't exactly have any say in this, you know? I wish I had. Don't worry. I had a jolly good time. No regrets. I did love that lounge. A bit too much, maybe. I think you might need to restock. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go. You know the way, Bambina. No! Are we... 
Really? I did not think we'd be saying be goodbye to Giovanni anytime soon. I thought he'd be a party animal for a while. I thought he had lots of drive and spirit left in him. Ow. I thought you gave me a different name. We've got another errand for you to run. This one is fixing the problem you created. You gave us a house, which is nice and all, however, it's empty. It's got nothing. You need to add some pizzazz to it. Mickey has always had a certain lavish lifestyle, however, I can't tell you what he wants. Uh, you'll just have to figure that out. We're not interior designers. Word of advice, Scout. Just get whatever's expensive and loud. Can do. But I think we're saying ta-ta to somebody right now. Why do we gotta go all the way up? We're in the blood ocean, Bambina. Or freaking Giovanni. Bambina's what you call me. And every it's always hovering above your name, so. Well, here we are, Bambina. You know I'm not exactly thrilled, but I've got to go. Ready to bring me there? Uh, sadly, yes. Yeah, I think it's the best decision. Okay, let's go. Going down, down, down. Gonna take you a while to get down, and I can just get down like this. Okay, most of the gangs here, I don't know where Bruce and Mickey is, but I guess they didn't really know Giovanni that much, even though I, they hung out in their in his lounge a few times. We definitely got to know each other a little bit. I wonder what Giovanni's gonna open up to us about. Like, what what was his affliction? Besides just wanting to have too much fun and not being faithful. You know what, Peanut? The second I saw you, I knew you were someone special. Someone who, no matter what happened, would always be there and do the right thing. I could see that in people. See the cracks in them. It's easy. Light shines through. I guess that's why I fell in love with Astrid. Did you really? I feel like people like him can fall in love with people, but it's just like it's... It's also ingrained in them to not stick with one person for whatever reason. Ha! Astrid. She was the toughest nut you could imagine, but she had such an intense light inside shining through warmth and fire too. Her laugh made mountains tremble, and everyone was happy when she was around. I was happy. I've always spent so much time making sure other people were having fun, making jokes and being the funny guy. But they only came for her, really. Her majestic, raw, radiant soul. He does have a way with words, though. I, I, I get what he means by the ladies just love him. But you, Bambina, you've got that look in your eyes. That soft, killer vibe. I saw so much of me in you. Your bravery, your sense of humor, your gusto. I know it's hard doing what you do. Accompanying people towards their end. Takes more than guts to do something like that. It takes a soul of steel. But hey, good news. You've got it. You've got it, Bambina. Even if you doubt, even if you don't have faith in yourself, I have so much faith in you. So much faith in your strength. I believe in you, Peanut. Now and forever. And hey, if you need anything, I won't be far. I'll be right there, standing right beside you. I'll always be there. Always. Damn. I didn't think his passing would, like, hit me so hard. I think it's because all that he's just said good stuff to us this whole time. He's just been buttering me up. And now I'm sad to see him go. I guess that's more of like a, uh, a problem I have than him. I know I shouldn't leave so soon. Believe me, I wish I could have stayed longer. Right here with you, Peanut. Promise me you'll take care of Astrid when I'm gone, okay? And don't miss me too much, will you? I've never deserved you anyway. But I've loved you. And that won't stop, even if I'm not around anymore. The ones who really love you never really leave you, you know. Mm -hmm. Life is amazing, isn't it? A whirlwind, a tremor, a flickering flame. I've tried so much to live to the mm -hmm. fullest. I regret nothing, nothing but leaving Astrid. Nothing but leaving you, Stella. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have seen you grow up even more, but here we are. All right, pour yourself one for me, will you? Ciao, Bella. Oh, man. I almost got choked up there a bit again. Frick you, man. You were supposed to be like a bad guy, but I ended up caring for you a lot more than I thought. And there he goes. Just like he came in. This bastard, man, on so many levels. Why? I actually, like, shed a tear. This sucks. This game really is great. Fuck. 
Are you, is your constellation going to be with Astrid when she comes out? That would be sick. It's like a lion mane. Look at him. Look at him there. The big old boy. Big old boy. Oh, we haven't been here in a sh minute. Hello. How come we only see... How come we don't get these with everybody? I wish we did get these with everybody. That would be cool. Just seeing their little life stories. There he is. Look at that dude. Dude, he's got a booty. He's stacked. What the hell? There's no flat booty there. That's another reason why the girls love him. Oh, it's Hades. Whoa, what the hell? That was a little creepsy. Your eyes kind of imploded on you there, guy. Why are you trying to scare me? Oh, there's constellations. We're just, we're just coming down this way? I don't know where to go, though. I'm scared. Oh, okay, right here. Now where? Just double back? Double back. Double backing down. But I'm not backing down. There he is. Oh, no, who is that? Is that his pupadre? Was his pupadre sick? Man. What is going on? Are we gonna get like one more little cutscene? Thingamajigger? All the way up here. We could do it easy peasy. We love that. Love parkour. Now, what's this one? Butterflies? Show me the last picture. You showed me him moving in. He was liking it. You showed him his dad passing. And then you showed him with someone. Some other dude? What's going on here? You got a spiffy hat on just like I do and a camera. Oh, that's sick. What do we got going on here? We got, oh, do we got another picture or are we coming up to Hades again? Boom, 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 boom. Play me. Oh, he's playing it. Oh, the creepsy bastard. So you return. Why's he got the long neck on? You part giraffe? And so you return, spirit bearer. Humbled by your confusion, your disarray, your fear. Time and again you call me by my name. Whisper echoes of my essence to those too afraid to hear it. As you stand before me, hesitation floods your heart. You seek to tame, but you only serve. And now you truly see me. See what I inflict upon those you love. All these paths you've crossed, these souls you've embraced, their lives intertwined with yours, their faces etched upon your memory. You've opened your heart to the suffering of others, and in return, their spark warms your heart and shapes your fate. Every spirit a reminder, every spirit a goodbye. What do they teach you? Their struggles? Their drama? Their memories? Your memories? Are they saying their farewells? Or are you saying yours? But you are not yet ready, Stella. And these souls still need you. Carry on your task, spirit fairer. Soon your time will come. And we will meet again. For the last time. Well, there's only one more time we're meeting him? That's one way of saying it. Oh my gosh, but what does it mean though? We don't know if he's the good guy or the bad guy. He's just being creepy. Am I dying? He just said that to me. Is these all my memories of all my relatives flashing by me? I'm not helping them, but they're helping me or I'm helping myself. What's going on? We got mail. Look at this. This is pretty sick. I thought I was a liar because for the longest time this didn't change so I didn't think it would change or maybe it just changes after every time I talk to Hades but there's only one more time we talk to him so what's gonna happen but I love that this is like it's all the way up here in my bedroom it's come down to my door and it turns out the sunflower oil is fat so it did make me my fried chicken and hopefully this is gonna make me surf and turf it looks like it made me too I don't know why it does that sometimes is that because we have the golden kitchen and so every once in a while it's just like a percentage chance that it'll give me some better stuff and i love that his flower is uh oh wait that's cool so is this like his door or is this astrid's door like what what's this flower symbol but i love that his spirit flower is on her couch at her house and not at the lounge all by himself 
Uh, cause he truly did love her. He just couldn't control himself, the little bastard. So wait, now people need to eat, but I need to ding ding ding, wake them up. There you go, wake your asses up. Uncle Atul, I got your food. Wait, Gustav, how'd you get all the way down here already? Hey, we can feed you there, buddy. Where's your fried chicken? Here you go. This always makes me think of my dad. He loved preparing food. He was an absolute genius in the kitchen. His meals would always turn out perfectly. But while he was making them, he was angry. He couldn't take his focus away from making food. It was like he was trying to tame the kitchen or something. It was a fight to the death. We would always win. A meal could take him hours to prepare just right. It took him so long. I remember being a kid, and when it was ready, I didn't care what food was in front of me. It could have been cereal for all I cared. I just hated watching him make food back then. Waiting for hours for a meal I didn't care about. But every time I eat this, it doesn't seem that bad anymore. Well, thanks, Sprout. Dude, there's some weird food and daddy issues you got going on. Stella, I think we could... We should organize a big dinner for everyone aboard. I'm not kidding around. Well, not everyone. Just a few people, maybe. I think it would bring spirits up. You should invite everyone and ask them what they want for dinner. Let's say three of your favorite dinner companions. What do you think? Favorite dinner companions? But I, we only have so many people on the boat. Can I... Are you invited? I think we only have three other people on the boat anyway. Astrid, what do you want? Hmm. I... I don't know how I feel. Should I be sad? Should I be happy? Angry? I can feel his absence. But at the same time, it's as if something had been fulfilled, completed. You know what I mean, Munchkin? Am I a bad person? Is it okay for someone to feel liberated under such circumstances? I'm sorry, Stella. I don't want to sound ungrateful. I'm still a bit shaken, but not lost. At least you're here with me. That's the most important. My heart is stronger because you're in it. Boys, now Astrid, I have to ask you to do a dinner party, I think. Atul wants me at the dinner. Hmm, sure. I guess I should be there. I don't know. I'm not sure if I... Anyway, if I get there, I should eat some noodle soup. It would probably be fun to talk to everyone. Or not. See you there, Munchkin. Your favorite is noodle soup? They're just gonna tell me how to start making their things? Frick off with this. I have unlimited sunflowers right now. Where's the rest of everybody else? Ooh, do Bruce and Mickey count one people or two people? Let's see, talk to him. Oh, I gotta feed you first. He's real picky, dude. And if I don't give him the right stuff, he like freaking cusses me out. He's like, I don't want this simple shit. Like, get it out of my face, stupid. Like, he says stuff like that to me and it doesn't make me feel good. Um, can I give you surf and turf? Oh, no, wait. You don't like crustacean. Oh, my bad. He's allergic to shellfish. He's gonna give it to me. Watch. Get out of here with this crayfish shit. Stick with the non-lethal stuff, kid. Okay, 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 okay. We'll feed you, we'll feed you. What do you like to eat? It's hard to know what to feed him. He doesn't like crustacean. A lot of things are simple when they shouldn't be simple. What is this? This doesn't count as crustacean, right? Quite a... Not only eaten by fishermen. Let's... Can I give you that? Here, he likes it. Free grub, finally. Now, can I talk to you about the dinner? A dinner? A tool who? I like food, so I'll be there. But I won't talk to anyone there. Maybe you can get uh, something fried. A corn dog. Make it happen, Scout. You don't like simple, but yet corn dogs are just hot dogs and freaking oil. What the heck? Okay, where's Gustav? Gustav playing his violin. I love sitting around him sometimes when he's playing his violin, just waiting. Mm. Oh, he's already hungry? Hmm. That over-energized friend of yours is organizing a dinner. Good thing you are taking care of the food, oh. my dear. Let's see. Something that takes skill. Some tuna ta ta taki, perhaps. Oh. That sounds decent. Yeah. Nice, tuna tataki. I don't know how the hell to make that, or a corn dog, or just noodles. Ooh. Sprout, now here comes the hard part. I need a sous chef. Someone to help me prepare all the, the meals. A good chef always has a good team behind them. Believe you me, Stella, we make a great team. I'll just write down what everyone wanted. You just need to prepare it all. The heavy lifting, you know? Okay, so he tells me it all. I already know how to make it. Or, I don't. I can go to the kitchen, though, and figure out how to make it. We'll get everybody the food they want. We're gonna have a great time. I don't know why I just feel like it, because we don't have one, but I want to build a chicken coop. Holy chicken coop. Why is the coop so big, and why can't you fit right there? Oh, because of the little clock tower situation we got going on? Okay, well, if we just 
move, yes, edit. If we just move said clock tower to like schmear for right now and then we build a like chicken coop, then we can put like chicken coop right there and the clock tower on top. Well, cause why not? The chickens gotta know when to wake up so they can wake us up. And I think, oh, was this it? Please let this be it. It was very unspecific on how to make the tuna. Oh no, I made bola bay, bola base. Yeah, look at this, this sucks. It says to make this, I need tuna and a savory veggie. I don't know what the hell a savory veggie is and I don't think out of all the fish I have, I don't have, but I don't have one tuna. I thought maybe a mahi-mahi was a type of tuna and I tried to put it in there with like some turnips or something or cabbage, but maybe that wasn't it. Maybe I gotta look it up online quick. We will have this dinner. I don't know what's going on right now, but I really want it. The music is intense and I've been pulling at this thing for like two or three minutes straight now. Oh no, it's so freaking close. Ah, I lost it once with this intense music and it broke my freaking rod. It broke, oh, there you are. Alba, it took all that for one tuna. I thought we were gonna get like a monster fish or a whale, but at least we got a piece of tuna. I do need this for the dinner, but holy crap, why was that? Oh, I listened to that music too. It was good at first, but then it was just like stressing me out. Freaking music, it's great. We've got a little baby chicken. Look at him, he's so beautiful. I couldn't find him for a while, I thought he died. And we're at this new place. Edgeboro Lane. Ooh, very mysterious, very curious. Another city life place, but yeah. Oh, I thought the kitty attacked the chicken. No, that would have been sad. Yeah, I put an egg in here. I put You put feed in the front. I put a lot of feed in here. Apparently, you can get, like, multiple chickens, and then they give you eggs. I just gotta wait for this little buddy to grow up. Then they'll hatch some eggs, and then I'll, ha and then I'll hatch those eggs. Then I'll get so many chickens and so many eggs. I don't need know why I need some, but that makes me happy right there. Chickens are so great, man. Just having something to feed and take care of and watch grow up and have their own lives. Oh, it's so amazing. Now, what did this unlock? I like checking this now right after so I can see what's around me, what I have to look forward to. Oh, okay, what is this place? Sun Spring Square. Ooh, I like how much we could discover back here. Yeah, because it looks like the fog's over in this area. It looks like this whole place is open. I knew there had to be some place where I could buy me some savory vegetables, and that's the whole reason we're here is just for the Dean Air. I'm not even going to try to discover that much stuff. Whatever I see is what I see. Hey there, guy. Can we bounce along? Oh, you don't. I don't even need bounce for that. Can I get up there? Can I do me one of these? Whee! Dude, zipline's my favorite. I used to work as a zipline guide instructor, dude, and oh, it was so great, so much fun. The work, it, what is work when you work on a zipline? It was so great and amazing. Oh, we're right here, but it's locked. Hey, you, the name's Randy. I know, I know. Aren't you merchants all supposed to be called Theodore? Yes, but not if you stop paying your franchise fees to Raccoon Inc. Listen, hear me out. I know what you're thinking. This guy looks shady. Well, that's right. That's why I cut off my arm and my leg to get you the best prices. And not just the best prices, the best items. Look, take a look and remember, my name is Randy and my stock can't be beat. I thought I was going to have to do a quest for him or some crap. Wait, you can just buy obols? That shady bovine license, good for one mint condition cow? Should we buy one of those? Why are your olive seeds so expensive? Grow into a venerable olive tree? Oh, that's gonna take a while to grow. Do we buy a license? Do we buy an old obble? I think I wanna buy the obble. Cause then I can go get bouncy. <gasps> we can get bouncy in the next episode. I don't know why the, he, he'd sell an obble. Do you like restock your thing sometimes, guy, mister? No, no more of that. Sell? I'm not gonna sell you crap. And I earned this tuna by myself. Now I need to grow an olive tree, I think. Or an olive bush. I don't know how olives grow. This game is teaching me so much about plants and stuff. And I do like the, the light right now. The scenery. But let's just end it off here. I, I wanted to end it off with the dinner. But it, it's going to it's gonna take too long for the preparation. I'm trying to be a great sous chef. And I'm going all around the world to find these ingredients to make my people happy. So they better be damn happy. And so is Atul. But Atul's always happy. He's my favorite character. I don't want to see him go. Or hopefully he's like going to be the last one. Oh, I wanted to go back and forth on this and look all cool. But... Yeah, I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. And if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you and have a great one. Oh, bye bye.